Magandang umaga sa inyong mga bata. So ngayon na ito si Sir Ernie. Share ko sa inyo kung paano mag-translate ng mathematical sentence to symbol. Gagamitin yun sa pag-solve ng problem solving. Lalo na sa quadratic equation. Kaya nyo yan. So go, go lang. Okay, ang tuturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay kung paano mag-translate ng uh, mathematical sentence to a symbol. Ito yung mga common na makikita natin sa problem solving, di ba? So, dapat alam natin to. Itong a number, kapag nakita nyo yung a number, ibig sabihin nun, magre-represent kayo ng isang variable. Let's say n. Yan. Kung ayon yung n, pwede din gumamit kayo ng x or any letter or any variable. So, we are talking about the variable because hindi minention dito kung anong number. Hindi sinabi kung 5 yung number, kung 6, kung 2. So, a number. So, we're going to write a variable. So, yan. Pwedeng n, pwedeng x, pwedeng y. Okay, sum. Pag sinabing sum, so, gamitin natin addition. Pag sinabing less than, subtraction. Kapag diminish, bibawasan, so subtraction. Increase, tataas. So, addition or plus is. Pag nagamit to sa equation, pag sinabing is 42. So, it is equal sign. Yan. Okay, yung more than, okay, plus 10, yung times product. So, find the product. Okay ba? Okay, yan yan. So, sunod. Okay, tingnan nyo to. The sum of 6 and a number. I told you, pag sinabing a number, mag-represent kayo ng number. So, 6 and a number. So, 6 plus, sabihin natin x yung gagamitin kong variable. Yung x nag-represent sa number. The sum of 6 and a number. So, sum plus 6 plus x. Okay, next number 2. 3 more than a number. So, pag gumamit tayo ng than. Okay. Hindi pwedeng isusulit nyo kagad yung 3 dahil 3 ang unang minention. So, ang susulit nyo yung a number muna. So, say x. More than. So, plus 3. Yan. Ibig sabihin, 3 more than a number. Tandaan yan, huwag gagawin 3 plus x. Should be x plus 3. Okay, 7 increase by a number cube. Paano yun? So, 7 increase, tumaas by a number cube. Or a cube of a number. So, a number represent as x. And cube of a number is raised to the third power. So, we have 7 plus x cube. Ayan. So, sunod natin ay number 4. Of course, number 4 naman... Uh, 8 less than a number. Dito, pag nakakita kayo ng than, yan, less than, ang unahin nyo yung a number, hindi yung 8. It doesn't necessarily mean na yun. Ang unang sinulat, 8 kagad dalagay nyo. Pag less than, pag subtraction na, dapat tandaan nyo yung una yun. So, ragunahin natin yung x as a number, then minus uh, 8. Uh, 8 less than a number, so 8 less than a number. Tandaan yan. Okay, number 5. The product of 3 and the square of a number. So, ang product ng 3 daw, tsaka na square of a number. Pag product, pwede na pagdikitin yung uh, variable, tsaka yung, uh, numer yung numerical coefficient. So, like 3x squared. Yan. The product of 3 and the square of a number. A number is x, the square of a number is raised to the second power. So, the product of 3 and the square of a number. Number 6, the quotient of 10 and the difference of a number and 5. So, paano yun? Quotient, we're going to use um, this symbol. So, division kasi yan. Diba? Pag quotient. That's the answer for division. So, we're going to use this symbol, division. So, 10. The quotient of 10 and... The difference of a number and 5. So, ano ang difference ng number and 5? So, we're going to use x as a number. Tapos, difference. Yan. Like that. The difference of a number and 5. Okay, ha? So, sunod, number 7. The sum of twice a number and 2. Paano to? The sum of twice a number and 2. Pag nakita niyo twice... Multiply by 2, yung number. So, twice a number is 2x yun. 
to x. The sum of the sum of twice a number and two. So plus two pa. Litin ko. So twice a number means two times x. Kasi twice eh. So two times x and two. So the sum nyan. Kaya gumamit tayo ng plus because of the word sum. Number eight, the product of sum of a number and six and the difference of a number and six. So, talking about product, gagawa tayong dalawang quantity. Kapag tatabihin natin, product sa loob na unang quantity ay sum of a number and six. So, a number is x plus six. Sum plus yun. So, sum of a number and six and the difference of a number and six. So, ito naman yun, x minus six. Let's have to do this. Okay, relate natin sa equation. Sa linear muna tayo, linear equation. So, number 1, 2 less than a number is 13. So, paano yun? Sabi ko sa inyo, pag less than subtraction, ang unayin yung susulat yung a number. Hindi ko mo ito. Sinabi, ito kagad ang susulat ha. Be careful sa less than. So, 2 less than a number is use symbol na equal pag is, yan, equal and then 13. So, therefore, our equation is a linear equation because in the first power. So, x minus 2 is equal to 13. So, ang na-form natin ay linear equation. O, panghuli. So, ito yung ating number 2. Mr. Roman's lot is to be 4 meter longer than its width. A lot will have an area of 80 square meter. So, ang lot ay parang lumalabas na siya ay rectangular. Kasi lahat eh, may width tsaka may length. Ang width natin ito, yung, yung lapad. Yung length, yung haba. So, sabi dito, a lot is to be 4 meter longer than its width. So, ang, kung ang width natin, gagamit tayo ng x as a measure of width. Tapos, yung length naman natin, gagamit tayo ng, sabi dito, uh, 4 meter longer. Pag 4 meter longer, mag a tayo dito sa x ng 4 na metro. So, we have x plus 4 for our width. Okay, ang total area na to ay lumalabas na 80. 80 square meter. Okay, pag ginamit natin yung formula to find area of a rectangle, therefore, we have length times width. Tama ba? Okay, ang area given, ang area daw ay 80. So, make it 80. Huwag nyo nalalagay yung unit. Is equal to the length, ang ating length ay x plus 4. Yan. At ang ating width ay, so multiply natin kasi times siya. And our width is x. So therefore, meron na tayong equation. So we have 80 is equal to x plus 4 times x. So ano yan? Pag uh, simplify natin yan, quadratic equation ng lalabas. So 80 is equal to x times x. x squared and x times 4 is... 4x. So, quadratic equation ang na-form naman natin sa number 2. So, this is how to translate no, no, to trans, uh, translate a mathematical sentence to an equation or to a symbol. So, sana may natutunan kayo. So, yan yun ha. Uh, panoorin lang lagi video na ito. Pag medyo nalito, kayo ulit-ulitin nyo. So, that's all sa mga bata, especially sa grade 9. Kaya nyo yan. Basta lang unawain mabuti. Thank you.